Good evening, my fellow citizens. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. I've instructed Secretary Kerry to immediately begin discussions with Cuba to re-establish diplomatic relations that have been severed since January of 1961. Going forward, the United States will re-establish an embassy in Havana, and high-ranking officials will visit Cuba. International boat in the fourth, in the fourth coming. We are the first Here. international boat to ever dock in this channel. Wow. And you're the first. Cool. was the beginning for the fuel container. It was the beginning for the voucher providing goods, food for Cuban people. It was brought for, it was brought from Russian people. And then we have here the brain. Why a brain? Because the brain was because of the hard thoughts that we had those days, thinking how to survive, how to keep it on. Wondering ourselves, what am I going to do to what am I going to do to survive? To what am I going to go tonight? I don't know. I got no idea. Oh my gosh, I gotta find a way to handle that. And then everything day in and day out, mixing every day, turning everything into a new Cuba. So, is art important here? Yes, of course. Uh, art in Cuba is one of the seals of uh, Cuba. Uh, culture. Everybody who knows how to, how to make art uh, try to do it because it is very important.
Very good. Nice. Beautiful. Wow. Somebody's having a nice dinner. Que le importará a la gente, que gente más pendenciera El vestido que te pones te lo pongo yo, la comida que te comes te la... He says, we have a lot of Cubans that look just like you, blonde hair, green eyes, it's not, they, they have black Cubans, brown Cubans, white Cubans, everything. But he says, they can tell by the way we walk. Because the Cubans, 
seem like uh, they have had their will stolen in some way. They kind of shoulders down, looking down, always, you know, slow, walking slow because they don't. And he says, we walk like kings. We have our shoulders back, our chest out, our eyes up, and we walk like we have somewhere to go, a purpose. And he says, we stick out like sore thumbs here, you know, I mean, you can see somebody walking, if there's five Cubans and one American, there'd be like five Cubans and one American, Just, it's no doubt, you know, I found that really interesting, so. Hey, go by. <laughs> Nobody is starving here. Right. That Cuba has nothing to do with either with terrorism and all that stuff and, uh, and everything. And then so people, well, there have been always people that have supported Cuba. And people are realizing that that has nothing to do with that. They have always been the Castros. Okay, they can be blamed of many things. But to, to me, the the worst thing, I, I don't know, in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, we were blamed to be, a, I don't know, a dictatorship and all that stuff and everything, and we were blamed by the U.S. government and, and all that. And what about the other dictatorships in Latin America? <laughs> No, 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 it is not true because uh, uh, we can go abroad. Uh, if we had the money and we had uh, the right visa, we can do it. So, so in America, we're told that Cuba will not let you leave. If you had an American visa, you, your, your country would let you No, 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 it's, it's not a problem for us. Only if we are professionals. If we are professionals, uh, the government invested some money and time on us and they have some rules. But if we are not professional, we can go everywhere. Okay, they allow it. The problem is to have the visa. Because we go to the American embassy and they say no. They say no, you don't have visa. And you say why? They say we don't we don't want to.
Oh yeah, this story I gotta can't tell read. you, because this is crazy. This happened in 1998, okay? First time we come to Cuba, we are racing, okay, in the Conquest Regatta. We end up in Key West, and we're having a skipper's meeting out there on the pier. And uh, the, uh, an official from the government came out and basically terrified us all, telling us if we went, they were going to seize our boats, and if they, all this, they were, you know, basically scared half the fleet out. But we were determined, because the only reason we got in the race was to go to Cuba. We didn't care about Key West. We've been there, done that. So, but what happened is there's all these sailors mingling around. They got no ride all of a sudden. So this one dude that we knew from Clearwater, who's a good sailor, said, hey, you know, will you guys take me? I'll work on be part of the crew and everything. We said, sure. You know, so we take him. And I'll, his name's So uh, we, we, we get this extra crew member and we sail to Cuba. Right as we're coming into the Marina Hemingway, he goes, guys, I gotta tell you something, I don't have my passport. All I got's a copy. <laughs> or like, what? No! We get there and they basically tell us that we, what he can, we can't clear in with that. That we have to stay, we can rest in quarantine, nobody can leave the boat, and then when we're rested we can turn around and go back. We want to kill him. You know? Wow. So the next morning, I get a bang on the boat. The Cuban official walks on. He says, Captain and one of your guys, come with me. All right, uh -oh. Takes us up to the office and gives us this card. He says, go to the Swedish embassy and see this man. Okay. We get in a taxi, we go to the Swedish embassy. He says, take a copy of that passport. Don't, but the guy without the passport stays on the boat. Okay, so we go. Couldn't believe this. Wiggling through back rooms, up and down, people waiting for visas, all this stuff. Pop into this little room, the unofficial American embassy inside the Swedish embassy in oh. Cuba. Oh, wow. 45 minutes later, we've got a brand new passport. Brand new American passport made in Cuba. Oh, wow. I couldn't believe, I mean, it gives me goosebumps. I'm yeah. like, are you kidding me? You couldn't get it that fast in America. <laughs> we're like, in the, we're getting in a taxi. We're like driving back. Wow, well, we're superheroes. Yeah, we're going to go party. Cuba, 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 you know. But my, my mate, he goes, dude, this dude burnt us. We're not letting him off the hook that easy. Yeah. So we get on the boat and uh, we go, Ian, and everybody's waiting. And we go, Ian, uh, we tried to get you in, but as soon as we gave him your information, they ran it, some kind of red flag. We don't know what it is, but they're coming. I don't know what you did. And he starts admitting stuff. We're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we don't want to know. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, God, tear running down. And my buddy pulls his passport out, slaps it down. He opens it up. And he's like, how? How did you get it? Like, it, he thought it came from America. Yeah. It was insane. Then the story gets better. We won the race, all right? So when I get back to America, this guy I know, Duran Cushing, calls me. He owns a sailing magazine called Southwinds. It's a local sailing rag, you know? Well, he interviews the racers that win the races and stuff like that, so he's asking me about the race. And then after it's done, he says, did anything else interesting happen? I said, oh, well, there's this one little thing, you know? And he, I said, off the record, and I told him the story I just told you. Little did I know, he also wrote for the St. Petersburg Times. <laughs> and he printed the story. Oh, no. I'm like, are you kidding me? I mean, I'm like, the men in black are coming for me. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm telling them about the unofficial American embassy inside the Swedish embassy in Cuba and getting a passport in 45 minutes. And he prints it in the paper. I mean, you can look it up. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, and I never heard a word about it, but I was like, oh wow. my gosh, That's I couldn't hilarious. believe that. Crazy. Yeah, that was the last time I tell an unofficial off-the-record story. Look at that. That's, that's <laughs> funny. That was a crazy...